Hi, I'm Tara. Today I'm going to show you how to merge two photos or images together in Canva. So the size of your design depends on your images. Obviously, I am going to use a summer into winter, so that's why I've gone for a landscape, but you could easily go for a, a square, a square size either. It's totally up to you. So the first thing we're going to search for is a summer scene. So we're going to summer scene and we're going to search in photos because we want we're going to merge two two photos together. So I'm going to pick this one. It's kind of nice. It'd be nice to be there. And we're going to make it as wide as the artboard. And then I'm going to add a page and I'm going to look for an image, a winter background this time. I felt that winter background was better than winter scene. I get better kind of tree images. So you're looking for an image. I'm going to pick this one and I'll just show you why. Because all of the trees are kind of on the right hand side and my palm tree and my deck chair is on the left hand side. So I know you could flip them, but um, just to make it easier, we've gone, we've gone for this one. So I'm just going to make it full size. Just to get it as balanced as possible. The next thing we're going to add is the gradient. So we're going to search for a gradient in graphics and we're looking for one that has white into white into dark, like white into black. But we want quite a lot of white. So this one is not suitable um, and this one is not suitable. So you're looking for one that looks like like this, basically. So we just need to rotate it just so it's vertical. And we just need to make it the size of the height of your image. So we're going to start the, the left hand side kind of a good bit over into your into your image. And then we're going to duplicate it. And again. And again. So about we have about three, is it? We have four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna add a shape just to to cover that last um section there into shapes. I'm just gonna click on a square. Bring it down to the height and we're going to make it white. So then we're going to select all of them and we're going to group them and we're just going to right click and we're going to copy and then we're going to go down to our winter scene and right click again and paste. And this time we are going to flip it the other way. And we're going to move it to the left hand side. If you hold shift, sometimes you can hold shift and it'll go, you know, like it'll snap to the next like straight angle. But because there's lots of um, different shapes, when you hit, when you try to rotate it, I'll just show you, you try to rotate it and hit shift, it'll, it'll actually, um, it'll actually go into like a really small, small shape. So... So once you're happy with your two gradients, what we're going to do now is we're going to share each page and download each page as an individual image. So you go up to share and you click on download. You just need to deselect all pages, select page one, click done, click download. And then you do exactly the same thing with page two we'll click on download. Deselect all, select page two, and download. And once you have them downloaded, we're going to click add a page. I'm just going to increase the size of the page slightly. So you click on uploads, upload files from where you just saved them. And once you have both of them in, we're going to put them on, on one single page then. So when you click on it, we're just going to resize it out to this, the size that it was. Same with the summer one. 
and then we're going to go up to transparency and we're going to reduce the transparency back to 50. So then you should be able to see both of the images, both your summer and your winter. And once they're both on the same page, we're going to share that image again and we're going to make it like one complete image. So download or on page three. So we just need to deselect, select page three, click on done. And save it to wherever you save your, wherever you've been saving your images. And once you have them downloaded, we're going to add a page and then we're going to upload that file. So once it's uploaded, we just click on it and we just resize it again. And because it's now an image, we can now go in and edit the photo. So when you click on edit photo, we're going to click on adjust. And in the adjust, you have all of these kind of brightness, contrast, shadows, blacks, colors. Um, and we can adjust it. You're not going to get them back to exactly how they were, but you can kind of play around with them and certainly um, you can, you know, you can increase the temperature. You don't want to increase it too much because then it, it looks kind of wonky. Um, we just reduce the tint slightly. Um, you can in increase the clarity and the saturation. Reduce the shadows, maybe. But it's a pretty effective way of joining two pictures. Um, it's it's certainly, as I say, you're not going to get it back to the way it was. You're not going to get like um, like this kind of richness in it. But but it still works pretty good as um, as an image. I think um, you could then place some text over it. Uh, we just could go summer, winter, depending on what your pictures are, obviously. Um, but you can do it with any two images. As long as the images are nice and sharp, the resolution needs to be, you know, pretty good on them. And also it depends, obviously, what where you're going to show them. Like if they're going to be online, well, then the resolution doesn't need to be as high. But if you're going to print them out, then the resolution needs to be about 250, 300 DPI um, in your in your images initially. So we'll just change these to League Spartan. And we'll just add an effect, maybe a lift. And we'll change them to white. So I think it's really good as an effect. If you've learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe.